Welcome to Career Pathways. My name is Don Bowers. In this video, I want to talk about Kali Linux version 2 wireless configuration with promiscuous mode operations. One of the great things about Linux, and especially about Kali Linux, is that it allows us to take most major brand wireless network adapters and put them in what we call promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode is when an adapter cannot just isn't really interested in accessing a particular access point, but it can look at all the access points and it can look at all of the access point associations. So it can look at cell phones, laptops, a desktop that might be using wireless, tablet PCs, whatever, and actually look and see what uh, encryption might be used and in fact be able to actually crack that encryption in many cases. So without an adapter going in, into promiscuous mode, we really can't monitor wireless. And Kali Linux version 2 does that very well, as do other versions of Kali. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the wireless adapter for use with VMware. I am a user of VMware. This is going to be VMware version 12. I absolutely love the product. Um, and even on my tablet, I've got a Surface Pro 3. I have a copy of VMware running on that and Kali Linux running under VMware. And the reason I like to do this is because it gives me the same environment no matter which device I'm using it on pretty much. So I absolutely love it. We're going to then list wireless adapters for use in Kali Linux version 2. So we need to see which wireless are actually available and which ones VMware is letting us see. We're going to use airmon.ng to actually test for monitor mode. My guess is, is that the adapter is not going to come in monitoring mode. Well, when you use airng or airmon.ng to enable the um, promiscuous mode or monitor mode of an adapter, it's invariably going to come up with a list of processes that need to be dealt with before you can actually go into monitoring mode successfully. And you're going to need to kill those processes. And what I've discovered is a great command called airmon ng space check space adapter name. We will actually check to see if you can't go into monitor mode and tell you which processes, if any, need to be killed. So we'll do that. Then once we figure all that out, we will enable the wireless promiscuous mode on our adapter. We're going to test to make sure that the monitor mode is indeed enabled. And then we're actually going to look at a wireless network using AeroDump NG tool to uh, look at, we'll see what the wireless landscape looks like. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started looking at how to get a wireless adapter into promiscuous mode or monitor mode. As you can see, I have a copy of Kali Linux up and running, and in fact, I need to go ahead and log in. So I'm going to press Escape, and I'm going to log in with my password. And this should log me in. So I have Kali Linux up and running, and the first thing I want to do is verify that my VMware sees my wireless adapter and can pass it through to my Kali box. I'm either going to right-click on the tab here and go to the removables uh, items, or I can click on VM if you don't have the tabs enabled and go to the same exact location. And the one I want, um, I don't see here. So what I'm going to do is go over and just unplug and replug in my wireless adapter. I'm not sure why it went out to La La Land, but uh, let me just go ahead and plug it back in and make sure that it indeed is working. So I'll go back up now and re-look for that again. Um, I'll right click here and go to my removal devices and we can see now that I do have indeed a Realtek device and because I had a copy of Linux up and running when I plugged the device in, it will see it automatically uh, because I had Linux working and I plugged the device in, it will capture it for me. So let's then verify uh, and I use a program called Gwake for my terminal so you can either go to the terminal on your Kali Linux which is right here or I'm going to press my F1 key and, and enter my terminal mode. And then I'm going to go ahead and do an ifconfig, which should show me all of my adapters. You see I have an ETH01, I have a loopback, and I have one called WLAN1. And WLAN1 is indeed my wireless adapter. So I know that my wireless adapter is up and running. I want to do an iwconfig. Because when I do that, as you can see by the screen, it actually tells me not only can I see the wireless WLAN 1, but it is in access point mode, and that is the default mode. What I want to do, though, is put this in penetration testing mode. So I need to do that. Now, if I just run the Airmon NG 
program, what would happen is it might give me a list of processes that might interfere with this promiscuous mode operation, or what we call monitor mode. And I will use those terms uh, interchangeably. I want to make sure those processes are killed first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Aromond, or just Aromond, dash ng, and I'm going to type a command that says check, C-H-E-C-K, space WLAN 1. And what this is going to do is without putting the thing in promiscuous mode, it's going to check and see if it can and if there's any processes that might be getting in the way. And this is one of the things that I see a lot of Linux users not do. And I just know that if I go ahead and try to go into promiscuous mode and it doesn't work, then it's kind of a pain and I got to go take my adapter out and plug it back in or, or do some up and down commands and I'd really rather not do all that. So I'm going to check. And you see, indeed, I do have uh, several processes that possibly could interfere with promiscuous mode operation. So I haven't really put anything in promiscuous mode yet. All I've done is check. And again, I use that by airmon ng uh, check the wlan1. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kill these processes. I'll type in the command kill. And the first process is 821. And then I'll hit enter and say kill. And the process here is going to be 1017. And I'll do a kill again. And I will do um, uh, 1036. And now I know that these last two processes, if I kill the, the highest number, the other one will also die. And it usually doesn't matter on this one, but I'm going to go ahead and kill 1125. And that should also take out 1124. Now, if I reissue that command, and I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen, of AIRMON-NG check WLAN1, so you see those two processes are still coming up, but that's not going to really um, matter simply because that will not affect the promiscuous mode. And I just know that because I've done this a hundred times. So now, of course, is how do I get this into promiscuous mode? And again, I'm going to double check iwconfig uh, uh, and uh, see that I'm not in promiscuous mode. I'm still in access point mode. So I'm going to type in AIRO, uh, I'm sorry, AIR uh, mon, airmon dash ng start WLAN 1. So this is going to start promiscuous mode in WLAN 1. And when it does that, it's going to define it as another adapter. And you can see here it's defining that now as WLAN 1 mon. Now this is different than the previous versions of Linux. Previous versions of Kali would actually give you this to you as just MON 0, no matter which adapter it was pointing to. So if you could, you could have WLAN 3, it would still give you a promiscuous mode operation as MON 0. This does it. It's going to leave the number kind of associated with the adapter, which I kind of like. Now, as you look at the screen at the bottom, I still need to really verify and make sure this is really in promiscuous mode. I, did, I didn't see any errors. It does show those two, but I know those don't matter. So I'm still going to type in iwconfig again. And what you're going to see now is um, you'll see that WLAN 0 has actually been replaced by WLAN mon. And we can see that it is in monitor or promiscuous mode. And that's what we want. Now that we've verified that we have an adapter, that adapter is renamed WLAN 0, I'm sorry, WLAN 1 mon, we can now put that, uh, in, and now it's in promiscuous mode or monitor mode, we can now use it to scan a wireless network. So I'm going to type in AIRO DUMP dash NG space. And I'm going to type in the adapter name, which is WLAN1MON, and press Enter. And you will see my wireless network come up. And you will see that, indeed, it's finding some really great access points. I've got one called Avalon, Tasty Treat, Low Hanging Fruit, Career Pathways, Commando, Man Bear Pig. Um, I'm trying to see if the one, I usually have one in here called Nasty Net, but I think it's on another access point. So you can see that I have, in fact, several access points available. And I have nothing associated with those right now. That's probably because my son's uh, at work. And so what I'm going to do is turn on my tablet real quick.
and let this thing start up. And now you see we actually have activity. And I can look and see that I still, I, although I have activity, this could be cell phones. It could be, be a variety of things. I'm going to bring my tablet up real quick and log in. And I want to make sure that I am on, in fact, one of my networks. And I am on Career Pathways, and it says Connected. And now you can actually see down here where it says that this is connected to Career Pathways. So this particular device right here, which happens to be my tablet, is connected to this particular BSSID. And if you go up, you'll notice that this is in a 95. So I go up here and I look for that 95. And there it is. And you will see that that indeed is Career Pathways. So I can now monitor the entire spectrum of the wireless network that's in, or in and around my house, and I can see exactly who's connected to which wireless. Now, this is not really a video on how to hack wireless. That will come shortly, but I wanted to first show you how to successfully get pretty much most adapters underneath VMware into promiscuous mode operation. So I hope this video has been fun. I've enjoyed bringing it to you, and I will see you guys in the next video.